Hello, thank you for joining me on a video series installing and configuring IBM Domino 9 Social Edition on CentOS 64-bit Linux. I'm also going to be covering 32-bit. Um, this is CentOS 6 64-bit, but I'll also cover some 32-bit um, stuff. I am your host, Devin Olson, and this is Part 6B, more Domino-specific configuration. Well, it seems like we've been doing a whole lot of stuff, but the end is in sight. We're getting close. We're, we just got a few more Domino-specific things that we need to do to our Linux server in order to uh, make it operate. Well, that's not the right word. In order to get it, everything ready to actually install Domino. So let's go ahead and get started. Um, I've got a a terminal window here open up. I'm going to remote into our uh, Linux server as our notes user at 10.0.0.219. Uh, the, the command console or the, the format for the SSH command is SSH username at and then the IP address of the machine you want to go to. This could also be like if this was a publicly facing server, it's not. But if it was, it, um, I could say like demo.learningxpages.com or something like that. That doesn't really exist. It's not a public address, as you can tell from the 10 net. Uh, but that's the, the format. I'm going to go ahead and log in. It's going to ask me for a password here. Um, uh, again, our super secure secret password of P-A-S-S-W-O-R-D. And that lets us, lets us in. Okay, so we're logged in. Uh, notice that uh, we are logged in as notes. I need to change over to the root user simply because I've got to make some more changes that um, my notes user ID doesn't have the right to. So SU, um, and it wants the password for the root user. I <coughs> put in that password, here I am. And you'll notice again uh, the difference between the dollar sign and the pound sign. So I'm actually signed in as root and working away <coughs> as root. Excuse me. Okay, so uh, what do we need to do at this point? We've already done some initial configuration for Domino. We, we've set up uh, our files and we've shut down and disabled our post-fix service and those type of things that are going to get in the way. Um, the Domino uh, server, when it's operating and when it's doing its things, it's going to want to do some fine-tuning to the Linux kernel as necessary. So we need to let Domino have the right to do that. So let's go ahead and we'll, we'll use the export command uh, to make an initial setting, D-O-M-I-N-O, -O, Linux set arms equal to one, equal to one. So uh, we, we've done that initial export. And now what I want to do is I'm, I want to actually um, save this command in the um, configuration um, script file, so we're gonna we're gonna use. We can either do it one of two ways. We could either use v um, to edit the file that we care about, and the file that we care about. I'm gonna use cat so we can see it. Cat is slash home uh, username, the name of the user under which notes is going to or Domino server is going to run, and that's the notes. So um, slash notes slash dot b a s h r c. That's the the, the bash file um, that it's going to run. And so there you see that's the content of that file. So I can use v to edit the file, or I'm going to teach you another very very cool tool. I'm going to teach you how to use the echo command. The echo command, just like in in if you remember from your days of DOS, echo echoes something. So when you type in echo, it kind of repeats it. But we can also echo and then we can direct stuff. So this is where we're going to have some cool things. So I'm going to say echo, E-C-H-O, minus E. And now what I want, here's the content that I want to echo. So I'm going to quote, it's got to be, you know, this is a string, uh, slash N. That's standard old school stuff. That means a new line because the slash is a command, the N is a new line. So slash in, and then I want to type export, E-X-P-O-R-T, space, domino. If you were notice, I'm copying the um, command I had just entered, Linux, 
oops, Linux underscore set underscore P-A-R-M-S equal to one, quote, okay, so now I'm going to echo that, and where do I want to echo, echo it to? Well, this is where it gets cool. Boom, boom. I'm going to redirect that to home slash root, or not root, whew, uh, notes slash dot B-A-S-H-R-C. So the file that we just looked at, there, I've done that with the echo command. Now here's what's really cool about this. Check this out, it's awesome. I'm gonna cat that file. Look at that, last line of the file, I've already added that. Isn't that cool? Welcome to some of the awesome command line stuff that we can do with uh, Linux. Just thought I'd throw that in there, a little, little bonus for you. Okay, what we wanna do is we wanna create a directory for our Domino server, so um, let's get going here. Make dir uh, slash local, and uh, I'm going to put in the name of the server. And so, what name do I want to make the name of the server? Um, I don't know. <sighs> Demo. I'm, I'm not very. Uh, oh, I can't create that. Why? Because I have to do them one at a time. So, make dir slash local. There we go. Make dir slash local slash demo make dir slash local slash demo demo slash domino data. So there's the directories that uh, the domino data is going to be kept, okay? Uh, and now what I want to do is I want to create an installation, and I can verify that those are there by just you know, doing this. Uh, CD slash local demo domino data. And there I am. I'm, or now I've moved into that directory. So now I, what I want to do is make a directory wherein I will actually install Domino from. So make dir uh, slash install slash Domino 9. Now it's not going to freak out on me this time because I've already created the install directory other in, in an earlier video. cd slash install Domino D -N -I -N -O 9. All right, so and there we go. I have created the installation directory. Bum, bum, bum. Okay, what are we going to do next? Well, we're going to wait to the next video. But at this point, we are so very, very close to being ready. Um, all we have left to do is actually download the file and run the installation and just a few more minor things. But at this point, our server is ready for us to install Domino. So, um, once again, as a, you can read about XPages development on my website, learningxpages.com. You can read my thoughts on all kinds of s stuff on my blog or not. It's your choice. Um, if you go to my buddy David Levy's website, www.notesin9.com, you can download and view all kinds of amazing videos on doing all kinds of cool and amazing stuff with notes. Um, once again, I am Devin Olson, and I thank you very, very much for joining me.